What's up everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you the process of extrication and transporting the patient. Um, just so, if you're new to the game or if you don't know how to do this, uh, by the end of the video you'll know how to do it. Alright, so first step is making sure we have a victim in the vehicle. Uh, it looks like we do. He's slumped over in there. Um, <coughs> you need to grab the spreaders from your uh, compartment and what you need to do is use the spreaders like the K12 you hold the right mouse button and the left mouse button and you hold it right where the hinge of the door would be on either side either here or over here and we do that until this door falls off so that can take like 10 seconds so as you can see the door fell off we can just uh... maybe just grab a hook to pull it off and poke it out of the way there we go alright once we do this your one tip is that your patient will always be in a different condition I've added random patient generation so it'll give them a random name and random conditions that you would have in a car accident. So this guy looks like he's bleeding pretty bad. He's not breathing. He's got some minor burns. So we need to hurry up with this guy. So we have to uh, cover the body if he's dead. So looks like it's a DOA. So when the patient's deceased you can't uh, pick them up out of the am out of the uh, wreck. So what we need to do is uh, bring the coroner. And I figured I might as well show you guys how to use the coroner since I had to use them right now. So we'll lower the gurney right here by the car. Go to stretcher and move body. So now we remove the body from the car, and we are going to drop him off at the hospital Once you arrive to the hospital with your patient or your body, you just hit drop off body and uh, you'll drop off the patient. So now I'll show you guys a, a car accident where the victim is still alive and how that works. Alright guys, we're at this auto extrication. Uh, the car was on fire, looks like it slammed into the L train. And um, I put the fire out real quick so we can start working on this patient. Um, I showed how to extricate. Hopefully this guy is still alive so I can show you guys how uh, how it is when the patient's alive. So there we go, we got our door cut off. Now we have the option to carry him, but first we want to make sure he doesn't have any indications of a spinal injury. <coughs> He's got smoke inhalation, He's got some facial cuts some burns, he's having trouble breathing. So uh, I'm gonna grab my uh, EMS bag and start making sure he has a neck brace before we take him out. Our EMS is here. Alright, neck brace. And we're gonna give him some respirations as well since he's having trouble breathing. And now we can carry him out. This is how you get the patient out. You have to cut the door off if you want to get this option to carry. Alright. Let's notice if he has any extremity injuries. Okay, he's got a fracture on his arm. So with that, we can splint his left arm. Not tourniquet, splint. 
We're gonna get the ambulance over here. We're gonna backboard on him, give him oxygen. And now we can move him, that he's on the backboard, <coughs> to the stretcher. We'll close up the ambo. Alright, now that we're back at the hospital, we'll take him out. And we'll drop him off.